Okay, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'd like to continue building the health bar manager and make our health bars rotate and move with the character and also toggle their visibility depending on whether we've selected the character. So now we have the health bar over the characters, but okay. the health bar does not move with the character. It does not rotate with the camera, so the, the health bar is always facing the camera. And I want the health bar to disappear when the character is not selected. And we can deal with this functionality in our health bar client script. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the sprite manager in the start method. So void start. I'm going to public sprite manager. Health bar sprite manager. So the health bar sprite manager is a game object find health bar sprite manager. Here it is in our scene, health bar sprite manager. Get component sprite manager. So here it is, the sprite manager component. Okay, just another way to get the sprite manager. Don't have to attach it to the to the script. So on our update method, I'd first like to test if we we've actually selected the unit. And we can do this by saying transform parent game object because remember the script is attached to the health bar uh, game object and its parent is the unit itself. Okay, then we can go to get component unit script selected. There's a boolean called selected in the unit script which we configured earlier. So if this is selected, we can handle the rotation and the, the movement of the health bar. If not, we can hide the health bar because the, the units will not be selected. So we can say if my health bar sprite hidden equals false. If it is not hidden already, we can go ahead and hide it, which we can do with the health bar sprite manager. Hide sprite, my health bar sprite. So all this is tied in with sprite manager, the hidden um, attribute we can get and set, and we can set it by calling hide sprite. We can now focus on rotating and moving the sprite. The first thing I like to do is show the sprite once the unit is selected. So we can say if my health bar sprite hidden it's true we want to show it so we can say health bar sprite manager show sprite this time my health bar sprite but this isn't enough because in order for the sprites to update its UVs we need we need uh, to allow the sprite manager to update its bounds okay so let's just demonstrate this so the health bar is being hidden Okay. and when I select the character the health bar is still hidden and this is because we have an auto updated bounds Okay. as you can okay. see now it's hidden but we might not want to do this I don't want to automatically update the bounds we don't need to do it on every frame um, and even if the character is selected we might not want to do it so instead we can call health bar sprite manager update bounds within the script Okay, so just in this scenario, we can update the bounds. So, as you can see, auto update bounds is now off. Okay. And the health bar is now shown. Okay. So don't let that one um, get get you stuck in your developing. Remember to update the bounds. So now we can move on to rotating and reposition the sprite. Okay, so we're going to do this based on the camera's rotation. So the X and the Y uh, rotation of the sprites face the camera perfectly. So to do this we can just um, we can change the Euler angles of this client object. So for example in this robot we can this is the client. We're going to face this rotation to the camera and then we can apply this transform to the sprite. So let's do this now. So transform Euler angles equals a new vector 3. The camera rotates itself in the X, so we can say camera main transform Euler angles X. Okay, so remember the camera itself rotates in the X, 
but in the Y the actual camera controller rotates okay if you remember that so for that we can say camera main transform parent game object transform Euler angles Y okay and for the Z we don't have to worry about it so we can just copy the Z value we currently have so Euler angles Z so closing this off now cool so the last thing we need to do is apply this transform to the sprite itself to do that we can go to health bar sprite manager transform using a method called transform here to um, change the sprites uh, transform attributes my health bar sprite cool this is the all we need to do here nice and simple so let's see if this worked just to recap this this is the camera controller okay so this is the Y rotation of the camera controller it controls you up and down but the camera itself in the X rotates okay just the way we coded things earlier so if I play the game now okay let's select these health bars and then turn around and as you can see no matter what position or rotation we are the health bar is always facing the camera cool so okay. this deals with the uh, the health bars so all we need to do now is update the health bars when the characters get hit or are attacked we'll do this later on and as you can see everything works fine for the solar farm as well so thanks for watching the video hopefully see you in the next video